Hi guys, so great to be with you today. We are going to be doing a non-impact high intensity interval training workout. So this is a great one when you want to get your heart rate up and you want some strengthening, but you need to be a little more gentle on your joints either because of pain or an injury or maybe pregnancy, postpartum, things like that. So this is a great way to get started. So all you need are your tennis shoes and that's it, a little bit of space. So you don't even need a mat for this one. You can use it if you want to, but you definitely want some tennis shoes. All right, so we are going to start with a basic squat have your feet shoulder distance apart slightly turned out okay and you're gonna inhale down and exhale up arms can be right here at your waist or bring them out in front of you and then down inhale exhale so if I'm at the side here I am so you stick your booty back behind you without letting your back arch too much right so you don't want to be here you just want a little tuck down and up so you decide how far down you go. You don't have to go this far down. Just see what your knees will allow you to do. Getting some arm work in here. Getting that heart rate up. Getting the blood flowing. Find your breath. Let's do three and two. Now you're gonna come down. Pulse, 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 and up. Pulse, pulse, pulse and up so it's a beautiful day here which is why I'm on the roof filming but it also means you might get some construction noise they are literally knocking down houses behind me right now so if you're getting some of that it's just real life outdoor noise right here pulse pulse and up let's do two more see who needs to jump to get a workout in I'm already feeling it one two three and up okay so now down and when you come up raise up onto your toes down and up toes inhale exhale so it's almost like we're getting a little jump in right like we're doing jump squats but we're just raising up onto those toes instead so you don't have to worry about the jump portion. Of course, if you really want to throw in some jump squats here, go right ahead. But this one being non-impact, we're gonna focus on avoiding the jumping while getting a really good workout and getting some balance here too. Up, down. Okay, on this one, raise up and stay there. Just lower your heels, lift, lower, lift. Good, staying tall in your spine. Four, three, two, one, nice job. All right, so we're gonna bring the right foot forward and the left foot back. So we're gonna go down to a lunge, and when you come up, I want you to kick the left leg in front of you. So down and back, and kick. Down and kick. So if the kicking part is too much, then you can just do the lunge or just work on bringing the knee up for some balance. But if you want a little extra, kick, down, kick. Make sure that you're stepping that left foot nice, woo, <laughs> and back far. So it happens when I look at the camera. Because you want that wide stance for a lunge to keep the knees happy. Down and up. Good, three more, three, and two, one, and switch. So right foot back, kick it out. So be really purposeful with that kicking leg in front of you. Make it really strong. Did you ever do tie bow back in the day? I used to love tie bow. I would do it in the living room all the time. Think of that. Powerful kick at the top. Four more, three, two, one, nice job, turn. Okay, so our skaters, which you know I love, I add them into our interval training a lot, we're gonna make them non-impact. So come to the side, down in a squat. Step and bring the other foot in, step and in. So it's just a really big step. So if you're doing this, 
regularly, it's more here, right? A little bit of a hop side to side. But you do the same thing just with a big long step. Step. And I'm just tapping my other foot. The lower you get down in a squat, the harder it's going to be. Step, step. Then if you want to make it a little more challenging, you bring the foot behind. So instead of actually tapping it or stepping it, just step it behind. So it's harder for balance because you're keeping it lifted the whole time. You got it, keep going. I've already lost my breath here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, okay. Wide stance again, but feet are gonna come wide, both of them, and I want them turned out. So we're gonna work some sumo squats here. Hands on your hips, down, up, down, up. Nice job. Inhale, exhale. So to start, you're gonna feel your heart rate come back down a little. That's what we want, high intensity interval training. We get the heart rate up, bring it back down slightly. Up, down. You want that challenge. Okay, find our squats again. Pulse, 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 and up. Pulse, 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 and up. Nice job. Three, two, one. Squeeze the inner thighs as you come back up. So now in this squat position, you're a little more upright. So I'm not necessarily sticking my booty back behind me. I'm keeping a slight tuck so that my back doesn't arch too much. And I wanna feel like my spine is really tall. Good, come down, stay here. Arms come here, I talked about that, Taiba. Okay, we're gonna find a little more kickboxing. Punch the right arm across, come in. Left arm and in, punch punch and then speed it up a little bit so you're keeping that squat as you're getting those arms moving maybe squat lower you got it and six five four three two one and back up nice job feet slowly come back in all right turn to the side again we're going to find another lunge position here. It's a little bit different though. It's a great exercise. So feet are hip distance apart. You're down into just a slight squat. Okay, bring the left foot up so it's balancing. It's going to come back and barely tap the ground and then knee comes in. So back in. So my weight is on that right leg the whole time because that left foot, like I said, is just barely tapping the ground, but it's not taking any weight. So big exhale every time the knee comes in. Five, the right leg should be burning. Three, two, one, switch. Just put the left leg down, find that nice soft knee and right leg back. See how still you can keep your torso in that upper body. You got it. Relax the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. And come back in. Nice job. All right. We're going to find a squat position again. Find your legs back to that position we started with. So shoulder distance apart, slightly turned out. We're gonna bring the arms up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Inhale, sit back and down. Exhale, hands come down as you come up, okay? So you're gonna go here and here. Inhale, exhale. So, like I said before, we're using this little opportunity to bring the heart rate back down slightly to catch our breath. Doesn't mean this is easy. <laughs> it just means it's not quite that deep burn yet. So feel like you're sitting back into your heels. Good. Okay, on this one, come down, hold it, just the arms, bring them down, up, down, up. Good, three, two, 
and one stand up okay come back down just the arms again see if you can sit back and down more getting that burn three and two one and up last time down here we go go even lower three two one stand up nice job